All right, so I'm here doing an unboxing for you guys today. Today, what we're gonna be unboxing is a brand new, okay, MSI Prestige 15, all right? This is a laptop, the MSI Prestige 15, right here, okay? Doing the unboxing right now. Ooh. Okay, and this goes for about $15.99 on Newegg. Um, I think you get it for, I think, $17, $17, $16.99 uh, at uh, Best Buy as well. Whoa, okay, here we go. Very nice. Very nice case. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up this little box here first. I wonder what this is. This is probably just a power brick and everything. Okay, we've got some cables here. We got the power brick. Very nice. Very slim power brick. I like that. Uh, I hate looking around a giant, giant one. Uh, we got some more. Um, this looks like a battery. Oh no, this is a Ethernet uh, adapter, so that way you can uh, plug into the Ethernet if you don't have Wi-Fi. That's cool. Awesome that they put that in there. Really appreciate that. All right, let's get into this. Woo! Super stoked. Okay, so on the box here it says business and productivity laptop. Um, I'll tell you guys why I went with the Prestige 15, the MSI Prestige. MSI is a good brand of computer. I've played quite a few of the game computer laptops. I like them a lot. Um, but this computer has a lot of specs that I need as a content creator. So I do a lot of graphic art, a lot of Photoshop, Canva stuff video editing, audio editing, and this computer um, has the specs that I need in order to get the job done. Super excited for that. So I just opened it up right now, guys. Took the stuff off, here's the lid right here. And we're gonna pull this bad boy out of the bag. Ooh, okay, got some case in here. Nice, they wanna put some cloth around it, I like that. And here, here it is, okay. Brand new. Ooh, it's hot. Let me see. I'm gonna go over the specs with you guys while I while I plug this in really quickly. Okay, so this computer comes with uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, and that's if you're gonna be running multiple programs using multiple software at the same time, you need a ton of RAM. Okay, and so for me, 32 is like the minimum spec for RAM, especially if I'm gonna be doing videos. I don't wanna be doing an hour long video if I only have, even if with 32 gigs of RAM, an hour long video is still sucks to do. Okay, it sucks. Okay, so, but uh, luckily I won't be shooting a ton of hour long content. It'll be more like 15, 20 minute clips. And this is more than capable of doing that. So 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, there is a solid state uh, drive here. Um, it's one terabyte. That's gonna give you a ton of space, plenty of space for your operating system and for any of the softwares that you need. If you want more storage, you can get an external hard drive. That's what I'm gonna do, especially for work. Uh, this computer is specifically for work, so uh, I'll, I will need the external hard drive because I'm gonna be pumping out a ton of video content, a ton of photos, a ton of everything, right? Um, this operating system is Windows 10. It's Pro, it's the Pro edition. Um, this is not a touch screen, so that's good. I don't like touch screen computers. I had a touch screen. I thought it was cool for like two days. And after that, I was like, nope, never again. Never gonna get that. 15.6 inch screen. This is the 4K Ultra HD uh, screen. And what else, what else, what else? Uh, there is a, um, there is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, 1650 graphics card. Uh, in this 
uh, in this in this uh, in this computer, and it also comes with the i7 11th gen um, Intel Core processor. So super excited to be using this thing to pump out a bunch of content. So once again, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with this computer. Uh, maybe in another video. I'll be uploading a ton of content uh, onto this thing and showing you guys how we're going to optimize this computer to use for content creation. Um, Cause that's what we're doing here. We're making content and we need computers to do all the cool stuff. Hopefully my camera's still recording. So also using a new camera to record this video guys. That's the Nikon Z50. That's a mirrorless that we're using to record this. So hopefully it turns out to be a good video. I'm 100% sure. Okay. And the cool thing, this is the C type plugin here. So it's, uh, it's like the it's like the um, the Apple uh, the Apple uh, plug-in USB C type that you're gonna have to deal with. Ooh, I heard it boot. Okay, so everything's set up. This is the computer right out of the box. And um, yeah, let's go. Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't like to use Microsoft Edge, so I'm going to get rid of that eventually. There it is, brand new, out of the box, MSI Prestige 15. Let's go down over here and take a look at everything real quick. Um, let's go over here, system. And boom, here we go. You can see all the specs right there. So, super excited to be using this computer uh, to be doing some content creation. Uh, I'll be installing the entire Photoshop suite. Yeah, uh, I will have. Um, several different audio recording programs installed on that. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, all right, so once again, this is the MSI Prestige 15. Uh, this has the i7 Intel Core processor in it. It has the 32 gigabytes of RAM, has a terabyte SS um, uh, D. So it's the um, it's the it's not the uh, it's not the disk drive. It's a solid state drive. So um, and it also has. Um, the uh, NVIDIA graphics card as well. So once again, I'm gonna show you guys what I did here. I updated this, uh, installed some programs here that I like to use uh, for my content creation. And I'm gonna kind of go through that with you guys real quick. And I'm just gonna kind of cruise around real quick and get online here and show you guys some stuff that I like to use. So um, obviously Canva is a big one that I like to use for everything. That's just uh, uh, an app based uh, software that you could use to create a bunch of cool things. Anyways, I'm using OBS. You guys are familiar with OBS probably to do the screen recording right now. If I'm doing any kind of live stuff uh, with multi-cameras, uh, you can see I have it set up over here for full set, zoom face, graphic, display. Um, so that way I can do a bunch of cool uh, live things with it too. Uh, I have Audacity set up here and Audacity is sort of just a real quick uh, audio recorder for me that I like to use if I don't really need to get deep into the production of it I just need to capture some audio um, and or I just need to clean up the audio really quickly um, then I'll use audacity uh, but I do have the entire Adobe suite um, here these are all the programs that I do use um, to do content creation I'll show you guys some samples that I've done here uh, let's see here let's see if we can get one of these open um, this is a profiting off of someone's misery taxation is theft, right? So, a couple things I want you to understand about 
tax auction investors and how we invest in tax liens and tax deeds, right? First and foremost, like we believe in taking care of Okay, so um was able to use a few programs to put something like that together. Um, anyways, there you guys have it. This is my content creation uh, laptop that I'm using for work here. Uh, some of the uh, little bonus tip here that um, I like to use is another uh, another thing called Hootsuite. Um, I definitely recommend that you guys um, take a look at this this app as well. All right, Hootsuite and Canva for content creation, social media people. All right, all right. Thanks for watching this.